Hey everybody, nice to be here again. Let's talk about understanding the communication revolution. As a former U.S. history teacher, I often talked about the Industrial Revolution and its impact on society. Today, in developed countries, the Industrial Revolution has long since passed. It's gone. Next up is the Communication Revolution. Thomas Friedman in his book, The Earth is Flat, was a starting point for explaining how the ability to communicate with nearly anybody in the world is changing how we live. Seth Godin, well, he talks about the end of the TV industrial complex, where in the past we were reliant on a few communication networks. Let's say ABC, PBS, CBS, NBC, for example, if you're from the USA, for all of our information. Today, of course, nearly anybody, including you, can create a video, broadcast that video, and share an idea or viewpoint. This class you are in right now is an example of the communication revolution at work. Couldn't do it 10 years ago. And so what? How does this change anything? In many ways, it changes everything. Ideas, for better or worse, spread without limits now. Blogs, photo, video, and audio services allow all of us to communicate on a scale like never before. However, and this is the painful part sometimes. Just because we all have a huge broadcast device, it does not mean anybody really wants to listen to us. We can't just interrupt people with ads like the TV industrial complex did in the old days. Now, we have to earn people's trust, and that can be tough.